fish. We're gonna go heavy on the seasoning. <laughs> Everyone says you can't eat carp, but I wanna see for myself. This is the Cajun fish stick. We're getting ready to go stick them. As soon as I figure out how to put them together. <laughs> you couldn't have got the floor model, babe. They only had two. Rob literally set this up, set it down, was getting ready, and I'm like, hey, thanks, babe. See ya. <laughs> so he's busy without the other one together. <laughs> huh? Some people call me the songbird of my generation. Let's see what happens. He was right there too. I'm about to do something real. It could be smart or it could be stupid. But because I got on waders, I'm gonna try to go out there into no man's land, see what happens. If I come back soaking wet, it will be known as a stupid move. All right, you guys, so I don't know if you know this, but I grew up in Wisconsin. We used to bow fish all the time. Bow fishing is actually important because these fish are invasive and they take over waterways. And right here, this dam broke. So now all these carp are trying to get into this chunk of water. These guys are sitting right at the edge of it and having fun and controlling the population all at the same time. We literally just went and bought these bows today for this. I made it there and back with the fish. What happened, Brody? I should have just shot him when he was right here. That's a big one. Brand new Deer Meat for Dinner t-shirt to the first person who can leave a comment telling me where these waiters were debuted. What video did I first use these in? And it's been a long time ago. <laughs> but they're still working. Honey pot, you ready or what? Yeah, See, those fish, they knew I had one in my hand and I was handicapped. So they took off and ran for the border. Now this is what's going on here. This is a dike that separates like open water from the refuge. And the Department of Natural Resources has been doing everything possible to keep the, the carp out of this side. They've even put up like electric fences and nets and all kinds of stuff. Well, lo and behold, we get a big, big rainstorm, which was actually part of the storm system we were in down the Sioux Falls. It flooded and now it went over the dike. Well, now all those invasive carp going in the refuge. That's a big problem. Hey, Brody. Are these known as trophy fish? No? I don't think so, no. Really important to have good polarized shades so you can see the fish. Got him. Yeah. Come on, son. Woo! Oh, he pulled off! Dang it! I mean, literally, they're, they're right at your feet before you see them. Just behind them. Got him. Hey! 
That's a good one, huh? Oh, uh, he's pretty big. I don't know, 20 pounds? It's really important to have really good shades. Whenever I was at Favorite Fishing, I got these from Favorite, and I'm telling you, they're really good. I don't know who makes them, but I like them. They wrap around my head real nice. Missed that one. They're all coming in real deep, right on the bottom. Oh, there's a shadow right there. I don't Did you see this one so far? Oh, it is one! Dang it! It was! Okay. Got him! Oh. It's right there. That one? Got him. Oh, oh he came off! So, I've hit four. And I've landed two. I think they're coming in there and coming up like that. You guys, Kevin just walked away and I got my first one. Oh, and he just pulled it. What happened, baby? Jamestown, North Dakota. Tomorrow we're going to be going up and crossing the border. But in the meantime, I just met this little ripper, Jason Kinzel. He's been killing these carp all week. But uh, he's showing me how to do it. We're having a good time. And we're going to head back to camp and fillet some and see if they're good to eat or not. All right, Brody, we really appreciate you inviting us out here. And I want everyone to understand that if you are bow fishing, don't just leave all your fish on the bank bring a barrel or a cooler or something because a lot of farmers they will actually turn these things into fertilizer into compost spread them on their fields there's a lot of things to be done with them i am about to take them home and flay them and see if they're good to eat you gonna come eat them oh fuck brody <laughs> well wrap it in bacon best part about this situation i ain't wet everyone was complaining because you know you get wet out there it's cold it makes it miserable but these little things, they uh, make do a great job. My socks are even dry. I don't know. Look at that. Have you, ever, you ever got one of these? Have you ever eaten one? If you're watching this right now, have you ever eaten a buffalo carp? And if so, do you think I'm crazy? Or do you think I'm on to something? I've never, today's the first day I've ever shot one, but I can tell you right now, it was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Very meaty fish. Hold the phone. That meat doesn't look that bad. I was expecting it to be like, ugh, nasty. Got a weird like hump in his in his spine. Look at that. I mean, I did not expect it to look that good. I'm not saying it looks great, but I certainly have eaten worse.
That doesn't look that bad. I mean, it's got a little bit of a bloodline. Did you expect it to look worse than that? This thing is full of bones. Hey guys, that may not look bad. <laughs> we can try. Oh yeah. What's that? We're gonna see the buffalo. The buffalo? We're gonna see the buffalo tomorrow. No, he said we can see the buffalo. Okay. I swear to you, I was not expecting it to look that good. So we're just gonna. We're gonna go heavy on the seasoning. <laughs> you know, if something tastes bad, you just put a lot of Everglades on it and it'll taste better. Emma's making it feel like a uh, dance club out here with the light disco baby. Like that. Everyone's gotta try a bite. I will do it. I will do it. Oh yeah. Looks like a Corvina filet. It does look like a Corvina filet. Hey, first time for everything, boys. Yep. Don't listen to people if you don't try. That is not oh. really good business. What are y'all doing? It didn't stick it. It didn't stick at all, huh? You put a little Tabasco there, everything's good. <laughs> <laughs> He's the Tabasco like guy, huh? That's see, now look, now look, see how it's sticking? Because it wasn't done. Oh my God. Folks, it is about that time. <clears throat> Unknowingly, there's like a full lunar eclipse going on and we're eating some buffalo carp. Come on, Teaserhead, grab you a piece. Oh yeah. Everybody <laughs> just, just. <sighs> Smell like a pizza, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's a wet bone. I don't know. It's mushy. <laughs> hey, yeah, bottoms up. <laughs> Cheers. That is terrible. Totally huh? terrible. <laughs> 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 Game over. Game over. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> you know, feel like a rock. We're like. Oh, oh. <laughs> she said it's just fine. Oh, oh my God, that's the. That is on. <laughs> that is terrible. I warned you. I warned you. Okay. <laughs> Good job, buddy. I even put Everglades seasoning on this. Don't ever eat this stuff. It's terrible. And with that, I love you guys. Take care. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow. We're going across the border. We out.